Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. So this is not going to be a video on a specific tank. This is actually going to be a video on a class of tanks, and in this case, medium tanks, and how to play them effectively. Now look, I don't profess to be firstly a fantastic player, I'm an average player, and secondly, I don't profess to be the best medium player in the game, not by a long shot. But I can and I do like playing medium tanks and I do see a lot of mistakes creeping into people's games, especially if they're newer players. Now look, the idea behind the medium tank is not to frontline brawl, okay? Medium tanks generally come with pretty decent DPM but pretty bad alpha damage. There are a couple of exceptions but the majority have high DPM but low damage, okay? So you're not churning out those big damage numbers. You're churning out somewhere in the region of anywhere between, especially at tier 10, 250 to 350, where there are some exceptions, as I said, to think WZ 120. They also generally come with super accurate gun and pretty decent mobility, but they sacrifice that for being lightly armored. Now, they don't generally have the spotting ability or the mobility of, say, a light tank. There is something different. So, what is the aim of a medium tank? Now, the aim of a medium tank, as I said, is not the front line. The aim of a medium tank, generally speaking, is to basically farm. Okay, you're normally sat around second line, just behind the heavies or somewhere like that. Now what we've done here on this game, I mean we've already done 1600 damage and uh, assisted in taking out one tank and got a tank ourselves. Now the idea behind that is basically this. We have not taken on the heavies, we've taken on their light tank and we've taken on their medium tank. Okay, and we've managed to farm a bit of damage. Now what you're meant to do with mediums is stay relatively safe and then when the time comes, use your mobility and your super accurate gun to push onto the enemy to finish them off. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now I'm the first to admit, this game is not gonna be setting the world on fire. It was never meant to be, but it was giving you a highlight of how you can work together in a platoon to try and use your mediums to their maximum effect. And that is the thing about playing mediums. You need to understand the role that that tank plays on the battlefield. Now we finish that game with 2.4k damage, we bounce 600, we get two kills, and we've been pretty effective in the role that we were given. Now my toon mate, Noob the number one, very good player, over a 70% win rate, well he's a little bit better than me and he knocks out 3.8k, but we did the job we were meant to do. Then this is the thing about mediums. I'm now going to jump into a completely different game with a completely different tank, one of my favourite tanks in the game. It's still going to be in a tune, but this time it's going to be on Supremacy. So we're going to get to see what that looks like. This time we are on Dead Rail and it's a Supremacy game. And we looked at their lineup and we could see, well, they've got a T22 medium, they've got a Sheridan, and they've got a Vickers Light. So we were expecting them to go to the C-Cap. Now, the thing about tanks like the STB, for example, which is a fantastic tank, one of my favorite tier 10 mediums, is that it's got a rock solid turret. Not so much on the hull, it also has a really good gun. So, if you stay in a hull down position, generally speaking, you can have a whale of a time. Now, we've realized that there is nobody here, which means they've gone towards the A cap area. They've got a couple of TDs, as we can see, they've got the Death Star and they've got the Fosh. They're going to be probably camping in one of two positions. So we're going to, oh, and there we go, there's a T-57 Heavy. Why a T-57 Heavy is over there is beyond me, but there he is. And we can see that the rest of their team is mulling around by that A-cap area. We're therefore taking the C-cap, we've done that, now we're going to push through. And from a position of relative safety, we're going to see what if anything, we can farm with our accurate guns. And that's the thing, now we can't get any shots onto that. So, are there TDs in the TD spot? Boom, yes they are. So we're just gonna sit here now in relative safety and use that super accurate gun to basically farm these tanks. And that is what you should be looking to do in a medium tank, guys. 
Now I see lots and lots of newer players rushing around in mediums, frontlining it and getting into brawls that nine times out of ten they are going to lose. And you've got to be mindful of what the role is that your medium tank will play. So we've finished off their TDs. We're now going to see if we can get shots in. No, we can't. They're down over the dip. So we're going to rotate back towards our spawn point at all times trying to stay unspotted by putting things between us and their guns. This is why I'm going this route. Don't go out over the ridges because you're just going to get spotted and smacked. So that is the idea here. Now, I could try and put shots into this T-22, but I'd rather take out the Vickers. He's going to present, put a nice shot into him, back away. Now, like I was trying to explain, these tanks... Oh, hello, Sheridan. Goodbye, Sheridan. Like I was trying to explain, medium tanks have high DPM. They've, relative, they've got a relatively fast reload time. You can see here this STB-1, seven seconds, which is stonkingly quick. Doesn't dish out the massive damage, but it does have decent DPM. Now we're going to use the mobility to chase down the IS-7. Why? Because the T-22 is contained and the call is to chase the IS-7. Put one into him, keep rolling round, use your mobility. And we're going to finish this game on full hit points. Again, we're not setting the world on fire. 2.4k. Maybe get one last shot into the T-22. Yes, we do. 2.7k, almost 2.8. We win the game on all our HP, we get a kill for our troubles, and we do pretty well. And this is how I personally play medium tanks. They are there to farm damage. They are there to be a nuisance. They are only there to brawl when absolutely necessary. And that I mean that. They're not meant to be straight off the bat, rolling in there and doing everything you can do straight away. That is not the role of a medium tank. The role of the medium tank, as I say, is more of that second line. Use that super accurate gun. Use the abilities of the tank to farm that damage. We're going to have a look at one last replay now, this time in the M48 pattern. So here we go in the M48 pattern here on Port Bay. Now look, they've got a, a mixture of tanks. They've got a light, they've got three TDs, uh, a medium tank and three heavies. We've got two mediums, two heavies and three TDs. You should be going, if you're a medium or a light, over to this side of the map, on this map. Why? Because if you don't, you know, there's a T-54 up, if you don't, you are giving the enemy um, an amazing ability to cross shoot you if you're going down this route. Now, I know everybody talks about going this side and therefore it becomes pretty predictable. But you cannot underestimate how important this side of this map actually is in this game. Okay? Because, as I said, if I wasn't here, that Object 752 and that T-54 would have... And I'll just show you. Because they would have absolutely complete control of farming my tanks over here. Okay, and I've got an E50, I've uh, got, we've got a T, we've got an E5, and we've got the TDs. That's what would happen. They would be able to farm those tanks with impunity from this side of the map. But I'm there, and that makes them keep their heads down. Okay, now I'm struggling to pin that Object 752 Star Chaser because he's got a rock solid turret, but I am preventing them at this moment in time from pushing forward and also cross shooting and farming our heavies and our TDs. That is my role. At the same time, my role is to try and farm them as much as possible. Now when, what you can now see, we both lost tanks, but we're dominating this position now, to be honest with you. We, we've got the upper hand. My tanks have been able to push. I haven't done massive damage, but I'm doing the role that this tank is there to do. And now, that this side of the map is cleared, that gives me absolute domination to put the cross shots in, and it allows my team to push. That is how important this side of the map is. And this is also how important medium tanks are. This heavy tank, this E100, is now stuck, he's out on a limb. I'm able to use the mobility of this tank to push down on round him and just farm him. 
and that's what I'm doing. I'm just farming. I've done 2.3k, I've bounced 370, I haven't taken any kills, I'm just farming. And now I've done 2.6, I'm going to push up, I'm going to get a bounce on the T57 Heavy, which is annoying, because I thought I hit him properly, but there we go. Now I'm going to forget the Heavy, and I'm going to push onto the Ho-Ri, and because the Ho-Ri has got more hit points and he's pretty dangerous, the 57 Heavy I think is on his long reload, um, after putting a shot into me. Now I can turn around, use my ability, use the fact that I'm in a medium tank to push onto the 57 Heavy and take him out. And there we go, jobs are good. Un. So, and again, we didn't lose all our hit points. So this is what you should be looking at doing in mediums, guys. You should be looking at not getting involved early doors in those brawls. Save it for the right time, okay? Use the gun, use the mobility, and use the armor profile of these tanks. Nine times out of 10, almost every single medium in the game, there are a few exceptions, have terrible hull armor, but amazing turret armor. And there is a reason for that. Okay, it's meant to be a ridgeline type tank or a sat at the back type tank farming as much as possible. And that's the mindset you need to get into. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been how I play mediums and how you, I think, you should be approaching how to play mediums more effectively. By all means, comment in everything below because I'd love to know how you play your mediums. And until the next time, guys, remember, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.